Um, so David, um, in terms of your, your overall experience with solar and, and the Tesla batteries, and clearly you've had a, a very positive experience, are there any final thoughts that you would let, you'd want to let people know who are perhaps on the fence thinking about solar, maybe a battery um, before we go? Sure. I, I would say uh, don't overthink it. Uh, I, I am, you know, I overdid it. I, I way overdid it, right? <laughs> and, and all these quotes and talking to all these people and everything. Uh, so y- y- what's, what's really important? It's, it's really important that you understand what, you're, what you want out of this system. So are you looking for uh, backup? Are you looking for cost savings? Are you looking for uh, environmental input? And everybody has all, all that in there. But what's most important to you? Understand how much you use. So, you know, look at your electric bill. You can figure that out. Um, and then you want you want to really be careful that you pick an installer that knows what they're doing, uh, that'll get it done right the first time, and uh, and make sure that uh, everything connects. Uh, another interesting story. So my neighbor did not go with Solar States. He had already signed up with the other provider in the area, and mm-hmm. uh, and, and he had a, he ultimately had a good experience with them. But they actually. Uh, had told him that they had to reduce his the number of solar panels. And he asked why, and it's because Pico refused it. Now, I shared that story with, wow. with Dan, and uh, you guys actually sit on a council with Pico, I believe. And somehow mm-hmm. through that process, uh, we were able to uh, cause that um, engineering study to be completed and fixed, and they, they, they were able to n- not require anything else to be done. So both both uh, my installation was 100% of my projected need and my neighbor's installation was as well uh, because of what you guys, your relationship with Pico. So people don't understand that, you know, it, I mean, I mean, at one level, solar is super simple, right? It just can, it just connects directly to the grid and produces power. And if if you use it, great. If it, you don't use it, it goes to the, back to the grid. But but there's a lot more to it. And, and all the interconnect process and the time you know, per- permission to operate and all those things, uh, you, you don't want you don't want just, just your average electrician doing this. This has to be done by by people that really know what they're doing. So look for track record. Talk to the references. Actually talk to the references. Don't rely on just what Google says. Uh, go talk to people that have done it. Um, hopefully somebody that's been in, had it for a couple of years and somebody that's most recently done it. So you'll get a sense of what's really going on there. Um, if you pick the right installer and you understand what you're trying to achieve, um, you, you'll have a great result. Don't don't overthink it, but understand where you what you want. <laughs>